Hi and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how to use a logic analyzer to test your hardware. Um, this is a very useful device to visualize digital signals. Logic analyzers don't have to be expensive uh, like this LHT00SU1 um, and you do can buy it from Banggood. I will post the link uh, below the video. I picked a very simple example for the logic analyzer. So we designed this board and uh, I wanted to test if all the pins work ex as expected. I already connected them to the logic analyzer with the pins you see here in the rainbow colors. To use the logic analyzer, you also need a software running on your PC. Uh, I'm using the open source software PulseView. You have to go over to their website and download the version for your platform. I recommend to use the stable uh, released builds, not the nightly builds. Download it and copy it to your application folder and then you might start it up. If everything worked correctly, you can see that uh, your device was detected on top and on the left hand side we see all the available digital input pins to measure. Now we need the ePulse Feather to create meaningful output so we can evaluate if it's working. And uh, for that I wrote this very simple program. Basically what it does is in the setup loop it initializes every of the eight pins that I'm going to test with output mode. Uh, and then in the loop it will iterate over each of those pins, turn it on wait uh, 50 milliseconds, turn it off, wait 50 milliseconds and then continue to the next pin and then have a 500 millisecond break before uh, we continue everything all over again. After flashing the code to the ePulse Feather, uh, we should be able to see the signal on the logic analyzer. And I run the test with clicking on, on the run button and now we see this little step that looks more or less as expected. We can use uh, these uh, start and end flags to mark certain events and measure them. So as expected it's 50 milliseconds. Um, we can also measure the time in between, that's also correct. But there is something wrong, there is one step missing and uh, on digital pin 5. So what is happening there? Is there a pin not working? To answer that, let's have a look at the pinout of the ESP32. There are a couple of pins that are input only and I tried to set a state on such a pin, which doesn't work of course. This pin was connected to D5 and that's why we don't see the step there. This concludes my video about how to use a logic analyzer on a Mac and I hope you could learn something from it. If you like this video please subscribe and let me know what you, else you would like to know. Have a nice day. Bye.